Okay, I wanted to discuss something with you uh, about the Muse headband. So, when I'm using the Muse headband, one of the things that I find is that if I is it, a lot of it comes down to the calibration. Um, and when you calibrate, if you calibrate by keeping your eyes open the whole time, versus if you keep your eyes shut the whole time, that's going to make a lot of difference. Your brain does something called alpha blocking when your eyes are open, which means that when your eyes are shut, that you produce a lot more alpha waves. And what that basically means is that there's five brain waves. There's delta, theta, alpha, uh, beta, and gamma. Gamma is in a different category. That has to do with, you know, when you're in, experiencing intense realizations and stuff like that. But alpha is more or less a lower brainwave activity. We mostly exist in the beta range. Um, so what I'm trying to tell you is theta is like between sleep and awake. Like if you're, it's like basically uh, lucid dreaming, uh, like when you lay down right before you go to sleep. So basically what I'm trying to say is that when you shut your eyes, when you open your eyes, your brain wave, your brain naturally blocks out a lot of the alpha waves. And a lot of this stuff goes over my head. I'm not a neuroscientist. But what I do understand is that if you close your eyes through the calibration, your calibration with your Muse headband is basically what it's doing is determining what your baseline, which is basically going to be dead center. So when you look at the results, you notice that it always starts in the dead center. That's basically what it's determined to be your baseline. And what it's